I'm gonna start by opening up a document in Adobe Photoshop. It doesn't really matter the size or anything like that. And then what you're gonna do is grab the rectangle tool. Um, we'll just use some random colors I have right here. And you're gonna wanna draw them like kind of in like a four corners grid, but it doesn't really have to be precise. I think it actually helps a little bit if you have some overlapping and just kind of different variations in the in the shape. Some weird colors from a poster I was working on. All right, let's grab a new layer. Purple. All right, let's just grab one more color similar to one of these. Let's do this. Have that in the corner. So it's good to have it kind of offset like that. Differ the shapes a little bit. Helps by making it look a little more natural. All right, now what you're gonna do here is group all of these. And I'm just gonna create a command J to create a duplicate and then convert it to a smart object. You have to do that so you can apply the filters. Now we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. All right. So see, you wanna blur it till you kinda get that gradient starting to appear. I like something like that. And then the final step is to go to filter, noise, add noise. And this is kind of up to preference if you want it heavy like that. But depending on your document size, this is like a 1080 by 1350. So I'm gonna do somewhere like, maybe let's do eight. I like something like that. All right, and then you can just save this out and it's good to use the hue and saturation. So see you can kind of change these up, see what you're working with, mess with the slider. And that helps for creating a lot of different variations and things. So thank you. That's a super easy method for creating a noisy gradient in Photoshop. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Check the description for all the links to the Discord, Patreon, and all that stuff. See you next time.